guys grammy awards is trending on social media on twitter right now burner boy lost two grammy nominations is an interesting story a lot of people are really talking about i still got terms actually winning out the grammy and she was the bride of the day to an extent i think uh, people are really commending her for transiting from the local scene to the international scene within a short period of time that is an interesting part of terms and she became the first Nigerian female to win a Grammy. That is kudos to Thames to an extent. <laughs> Uh, before I dive into the story, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos. Guys, I want to talk about uh, the story that is trending about uh, Linda Ikeji and the family of uh, the slain Alufor, you know, having to like drag themselves on social media. I think uh, it's all interesting. Linda Ikeji decided to make a movie called Dark October telling the story of uh, Jungle Justice, not just Alufor. That is something a lot of people need to actually understand after watching the movie. And now the family of the slain four, they are dragging Linda Ikeji asking her to suspend every actions on that movie you know from being premiered on netflix and the rest yes you know linda ikg has actually responded dark october you are backing over nothing linda ikg replies parents of slain four or slain alu four that is what it is for you that does not know linda ikg she is a popular blogger and a media mongo her name is linda ikg you know she recently replied the parents of the four students of the University of Port Harcourt, killed in Alu community in 2012, you know, codenamed Alu 4. According to the story right now, on October 5th, 2012, four Unipol students, Lloyd, Takina, Ugona Kelechi, and Hidala were lynched to death by some angry mobs when they visited Alu community in Equerry Council area of River State. It was said that they were in search of a debtor who owed one of them, but the debtor raised an alarm that was false, that the students were robbers who came to steal his valuables. Thereby, the four of them were pounced on by mobs and eventually lynched. That resulted into Alu 4, which is being codenamed as Alu 4. Now, Linda Ikeji decided to make a movie called Dark October, which was premiered on Netflix on the 3rd of February. All the aggrieved parents of the four students had asked the blogger to immediately suspend any further action. The family, through a right group, they are now asking Linda Ikeji to not make any further actions on that movie until um, they are being uh, kind of sorted out. That is something now trending on social media. I think uh, Linda KG has actually made a statement on that. Uh, we are coming to something we need to actually discuss. Uh, according to Linda KG said, Dear Livingstone and Partners, thank you so much for the press statement you put two days ago. It brought so much awareness to this film that talks about jungle justice as a menace in our society and the things that needs to be done to stop or curtail it. You are backing over nothing. Dark October is a complete work of fiction dedicated to the memory of Alu 4. There are no facts in the film and I wish you would watch it before taking any action because I guarantee you, you would be wasting your time and resources. The movie does not carry the names, images of the boy mentioned as follows. <laughs> you know, there are no family members represented in the film apart from a fictionalized mother and sister. That is something right now these guys need to actually understand. I think uh, a lot of people are really coming out to say uh, the story of Alufo is not a family story. It's a community story because it tells the effects, you know, uh, the bad effects of, um, you know, jungle justice in our society. That is something you need to actually understand by the big story Alufo. But right now, people are really talking about, 
yes, does uh, Linda KG, you know, has the moral rights or the legal rights to actually put out a movie there. But according to that movie, you know, by people uh, that have seen that movie, that have seen that movie, they will tell you that, yes, it was a work of fiction and the faces of the boys were not represented in that movie. And um, you need to also understand that no family members were used in that movie and it was a work of fiction and um, moreover it was not titled Alu 4 that is something you need to also understand about the whole story i think uh, the parents of these persons they want to like you know cash out of it and then accusing linda ikeji of cashing out from their sad experiences and stories that is something trending on social media but i think uh, we should start allowing our own um, content creators to actually start telling our stories before the white people see our stories and tell it in their own you know biased way that is something you need to understand and uh, according to what i'm getting right now i think uh, linda kg stands every chance of winning such a case what is your own take about that story Bonaboy lost both Grammy nominations for Global Music Performance um, Best Global Music Album. That is something trending right now. And uh, people are really responding to that and saying, oh, every day not be Christmas for Bonaboy. But to an extent, I think Bonaboy actually, you know, tried a lot with his Love Damini album and one of his good singles called Last Last. I think he has actually made a good fit for himself. That is something I believe. Uh, about the story but all the same i have to like commend burner boy to an extent but uh, some kind of uh, enemies are really mocking burner boy you not try reach burner boy that is something you need to understand about the story and uh, burner boy was seen hanging around a uh, person of future in a particular picture that is making around on social media i think it's an interesting and a fun fun time for you know burner boy and according to the report right here they said yes you know burner boy seated at the same table with cardi b and offsets udugu's lady like handbag spotted on the table Nigerian singer Bonaboy spent a portion of his weekend at the programming gale ahead of the highly anticipated award ceremony, which just conclu just concluded. And a photo making round on social media uh, captured the Grammy Award winning uh, singer Bonaboy at the same table with rapper Cardi B and her husband Offset. Nigerians on social media had sweet reactions to photos with some people spotting Bonaboy's ladylike handbag. Bonaboy is a stylish guy. That is something you need to understand because I think uh, he keeps, um, you know, stunning us with a lot of interesting styles daily and that is very unique of him. But this time around, he could not lay hood on any of the Grammy. I think uh, uh, somebody warned Bonaboy at the Grammy and then <laughs> let's uh, see what the song is all about. <laughs> Many people have been criticizing this song, but I bet you Grammy is a global thing. That is something you need to understand. You may not love the song in Nigeria, but other part of the world, these guys are really crazy about the song. So we have to take this in good fit. But a person of terms actually uh, did win at the Grammys, and that made it the first female Nigerian artist to actually win a Grammy. That is an interesting part of it. Future's Wait For You featuring Drake and Thames has won Best Melodic Rap Performance at the Grammys and people are really excited about that. I think, uh, you know, a person of her Thames uh, has been excited to say, man, my name is on Grammy winners. What is your own take about that? Let's catch some glimpses of uh, some things that happened at the Grammys. <laughs> Guys, before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon. 